Have you ever founded a techno club? You know, such a dance club with amazing techno music where people have a great time together? Probably not, because not many people start a techno club. However, it's an exciting educational experience. You learn many skills, like marketing and communications, for example, to attract more people to the club. Or data analytics, to analyze your visitors' data. Or even leadership skills, because you need to lead a team your DJs, your hosts, your security. In short, founding and running a techno club is an exceptional educational experience that should be part of every management training. But of course, there are also several disadvantages. First, to start a techno club, you need to find a building to house your club which takes time and money. And once you've found that building, you have to refurbish it, which takes time and money. And perhaps finding a lawyer would be a good idea too, with all those neighbors complaining. All this costs time and money. And if your project fails, you have lost a lot of time and money. Yet, I founded a techno club together with 24 students from a university. We started our techno club in six weeks and organized the first party. But we didn't do that in real life. Instead, we did that in a virtual world, in the metaverse. My name is Renato Pets and I am an innovation consultant in an international consultancy company. I advise large companies on using new technology to optimize their activities. In addition, I'm also a communication and leadership coach for executives. And on top of that, I am passionate about virtual worlds, about the metaverse. But what exactly is the metaverse? Where does it come from? Well, the term originates from Neil Stevenson's science fiction novel, Snow Crash, from 1992, which describes a virtual world made possible by computers and software. In the broader sense of the word, the metaverse is conceived as a graphically rich virtual space where people can work, play, shop, and go out. In short, do the same things they do in real life. Think of it as a computer game, like Minecraft or Fortnite. These are also virtual worlds in which you can roam around freely. But unlike a game in which you have specific assignments, like killing each other, the metaverse does not. It's a computer game without objectives. It's just a virtual copy of society, with cities, with streets, shops, art, and an extensive nightlife. 20 years ago, I discovered these virtual worlds, and I saw their potential. Initially, this was only as a spectator and consumer of everything that was offered. But over the years, I also started to offer services and goods myself. I bought some virtual houses and started renting them out. But I had no customers. So I started a marketing and advertising campaign. And then I got my first tenant. But it was only one tenant. And after analyzing the rents, I determined that I was too expensive. So then I made the prices in line with the market and I got more customers. But then some started complaining about the facilities and I learned to deal with demanding customers. And suddenly I got the insight. Hey, I'm not playing here, I'm doing business. And I learned a lot from this. And I'm having fun. 
This insight inspired me to move forward. I started to think about developing a business game based on my experience in the virtual world. The concept of a business game has also been around for a while. A business game is a game in which one develops new skills while playing. For example, I once played a business game where we had to build a pyramid with Lego. Everyone at their task, someone was responsible for logistics, someone for construction, for cost follow-up, etc. And throughout the game, things went wrong and there were learning moments. In the end, we managed to build the pyramid. We had big fun and we learned a lot of new business skills. I decided to test drive this concept in the metaverse. And to make it more appealing to an audience of students, I chose to launch the concept of founding a techno club. I teamed up with an existing club and together we created the Techno Theater Challenge. There was a clear, specific and measurable goal. To start a techno club in six weeks in an old theater and organize a party with at least 50 participants, which is a lot for the metaverse. So 24 students from university signed up for this tryout and we divided them into six teams, marketing, communication, data analytics, operations, design and general management. And every week they received new assignments in a short video. First, they learned about the basics, about the new virtual world. And then they received data from an existing club to analyze. And after that, they studied the competition, which clubs were around, what were their opening days, what communication channels did they use. So the teams had to work together to decide on the party date, on the DJs to contract, the hosts to employ, the marketing campaign, etc. And in the end, they managed to throw a party with 65 attendants. So mission accomplished. But much more important, they acquired new skills in marketing, in data analytics and leadership. Skills they can use in their professional lives. And they had big fun. Now, why did we do all this? Only so I could give a TEDx talk about this? Of course not. The experiment proved a couple of things which will be important for the future of education. First of all, we flipped the traditional way of learning. Instead of sitting on a chair, listening, listening to a smart but also boring professor, teaching boring theory books where you don't know what to do with it, you start with a clear goal to achieve. You need the knowledge so you're more motivated to learn it, else you won't have 50 people at your party. Secondly, things are way faster and cheaper in the metaverse. Buying land, buying a club and putting it all together takes only a couple of hours. And you don't have to leave your comfortable chair. It's all virtual, but the people are real. The DJs are real. The hosts are real. And your audience is real so that you can make a perfect simulation. And finally, if you fail, that's no big deal. You just delete your account. You're not going bankrupt, not going to court, no lawyers, not living under the bridge. But most of all, it's fun. And fun is one of the essential factors in everything you do. If you don't have fun doing the things you do, you won't succeed. Recently, the metaverse has become a big hype and it does have a lot of potential. But will it replace traditional education? The only thing that is for sure is that it offers so many possibilities to enhance and enrich the conventional educational system. 
by adding more purpose and more fun to the courses, people will learn better and faster. Imagine this, as a student, you arrive your first day at university and you get only one assignment. Found a techno club or start up a shop or rent out buildings, in the metaverse, of course. And every course during the year will be linked to this assignment. That would be more meaningful, motivating, more fun, and ultimately would give you more free time to attend a real techno party. Bye -bye.